right, Eddie. Happy. This is it. The moment of truth. We've spent close to 10,000 caps outfitting our house. And I still, I, I still get this little tingle of joy, this little, you know, giddy little urge to dance because we, we have a house, Eddie. But yeah, we've spent 10,000 caps probably outfitting this place. Let's see what we have. And the answer is, well, it does look good. We have a chemistry set, which lets us, we can detox ourselves, we can create drugs, we can heal ourselves for free, we can restore our damage, we can restore our rads. Eddie, you realize what this means? This means that we're never going to have to pay a doctor ever again. Or at least that if we can make it back to the van and then drive the van back to Good Springs, then we'll never have to pay a doctor at least for the regular things. Now that I think about it, that was 10,000 caps that I probably could have saved. I mean, just on balance, if you figure a regular doctor's visit makes uh, maybe 150, 200 caps if I'm if I'm if I'm addicted to something, it's like yeah, that's uh essentially 50 50 doctor visits. I need to do 50 doc 50 doctor's visits in order just to break even. Hmm, these two things probably weren't worth it. But you know what are? These are <laughs> reloading benches, a workbench, all from the safety of our house. I wake up, roll out of bed, I walk 10 feet, I make ammo, I'm ready to face the day. <laughs> oh, life is brilliant. So, let's go talk to... Was it Dean or Paul? I think it was Paul who wanted to talk to us about the garden yes <laughs> sir sir can i help you friend yes yes you can i've been inside the house and it looks amazing hey that's fantastic you want to talk a little about adding that garden on one condition i need to be able to plant k fungus and nevada agave because those things are crucial okay here's what i was thinking the guy that sold us all that other stuff has some old growing boxes real cheap We'll have to put in a little irrigation system for them because nothing's going to grow in this heat without a little water. There's already running water in the school, so I can have Dean tap into the supply line and run us a little pipe outside to the growing boxes. We need a shut-off valve and a few more fittings to get it all finished, but our supplier says he can get that stuff too. All in all, he says it'll be another 1,500 caps to get it all delivered and set up. Once we contact him, he said he needs about three days to ship it to us. So you want to go ahead and send in the money for it now? Ugh, that's an expensive garden. 1,500 caps. I mean, I am I might be wrong, but I'm just thinking, if I go to the shop, I can buy a whole bunch of plants for 1,500 caps, and that without digging in the dirt. But you know what? I have the caps to spare, so... Uh, what the heck. Fi fire, fire away, yeah. Excellent. I'll get this to him immediately. Don't forget, it'll take about three days for everything to be set up. All right. You hear that, Eddie? That means we have three days to play with. And you know, I think I know exactly what to do. See, we know a name, Benny. We know a place, Boulder City. We know what we need to do, and that is go and chase the man who shot me in the head. Now, the van can only go to places we've already been, so the farthest we can go up the road is gonna be Novak. We'll have to walk the rest of the way. But you know what? I'm used to hoofing it, so that really shouldn't be an issue. Although, my goodness, I'm slow in this duster. It's like... I, I do like it. It's good in combat. But I think that in every other situation, we're gonna want to be using probably this. Just because it's... Oh, yeah, let's take the helmet off, too. Just because it's... it's faster to get around, it's nice and light, it immediately marks me as somebody people know they can look to if they want to give me a job. Yeah, this would be this would be our, our day to day wear, and then we'll probably put the armor on if we know we're going into somewhere super dangerous. You know, l like the underground. And you see the brilliant thing about this, Eddie, is that I don't have to take a step. I don't even have to drive. The car drives itself to Novak. And we, we just, we don't need to worry about that. You know, 
one of these days we need to come back here during the night. I know that Dusty McBride was complaining about losing Brahmin during the night, and there was that guy named Boone who said, Hey, don't talk to me unless you're going to talk to me during my shift, which, which starts at 9. And, you know, maybe one of these days we'll get back to that, but it's just, uh, it's not really a pressing, a pressing matter. It's like, oh no, we need to talk, we didn't talk to one sniper during the night. Oh, oh, we're missing a whole bunch of content there. Hopefully we don't run into, run into any more of those Legion Assassins, because, uh, I'm just keeping my head on the swivel here, because you know they're, they're just going to jump out at me. I mean, not that I have a real issue with them. I mean, beyond them shooting me, obviously. Up, oh, speak of the devil. Would you look at that? All right, we... We forgot the hunting rifle. Crap. Okay. Tesla cannon it is. Have fun with that, sir. Now, where are the rest of his group? There they are. If we can nail this accurately, that'd be nice. Whoa, whoa. Where did that go? Okay, we have we have an issue. Duck behind cover there. Eddie? I can't help but notice that they're not shooting at us. Which, you know, quick save. Suits me fine, but makes me incredibly nervous. I mean, these are assassins. They were running right at us. And you know, maybe I've misjudged them. I don't think I have. You know what? They're not attacking me. I, I, I was about to say, so I'm going to leave them alone. But you know, you know, you know 100% that if we don't kill them now, they're just going to come and kill us later on. 100%. That's what's going to happen. So, let's kill them now. And not deal with them later. That sounds like a good plan, doesn't it? Yeah, nice little headshot for you. You know what I th you know what Eddie? This is just a sign we're not meant to shoot these guys. That's three shots in a row that have just gone whoosh. Gone whoop. Nope, no shots for you. Congratulations, gentlemen, you get to live today. And also, I'm going to be going back to the van to grab grenades, so if you're still here by the time I get back, uh, don't be. Up. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, Eddie, you scared the crap out of me. Like, I, I thought the Legion had decided to, to hide down there and just, uh... Yeah, I didn't see them over there, so, so I thought, oh, yeah, they, they, they've either gone off or they've, you know, decided to... <sighs> Eddie... You frighten me. Yeah, I, I I thought the Legion had decided to hide in this pit and, and you know jump me when I went past. Oh my goodness, my heart is in my chest. Okay, let's not do that. Now that I think about it, we probably shouldn't be flaunting the Tesla cannon either. Because we're next to an old Brotherhood base. And, you know, Maybe they're not in the area anymore. Maybe they maybe they still are. Either way, we have trouble on the horizon, I think. Real quick. Who are you? Can I get in on you with this scanner? Yes, there we go. Well, whatever they are, they're hostile. Look like jackals or vipers. Some, some Something of that ilk. Alright, let's quickly get a nice little angle on them. And then we can start the fun with a Tesla rifle. Okay, we got one guy in leather with an assault rifle. There we go. Hey there, hey there, how's it going? Nice shot, Eddie. Yeah. This gun is working out nicely. I like it. All right, what actually were we dealing with? We had Vipers. Okay, Leather Armor reinforced. A Sten gun. Ooh, that's nice. All right, then. What do we have here? Looks like a Poseidon gas station with... Who exactly are you? Welcome to the El Dorado Gas and Service. Pretty tiny little joint. You would be a hey prospector. Hello. Howdy. Howdy. Would you mind awfully if I prospected a bit in your little in your little claim here? We have some ammo, some very small bits of food. Ooh, and a Sunset Sarsaparilla bottle cap. Don't mind if I do. 
How many of those do we have right now? Only 16. I mean, it's odd, but I could have sworn we had more of those. And you see that, Eddie? Up there in the distance on the horizon? That's our destination. That's Vegas, baby. Do you know there's a radio station over there? There's part of me wants to go check it out. There's part of me says, you know, it's probably probably a bad idea. Yeah, let's let's not do that. We need to focus on our destination and the job at hand. The job at hand also includes killing ants, because why not? Like, they've already taken care of a, of a caravan, so getting rid of them is just, you know, it's, 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 it's any, any, how to put it? It's any caravan master's duty to make sure the roads are clear. Hello, sir. You have a very nice guitar, do you know that? Uh... You know, I, I pull up a stump, but it looks like you're sitting on the only one. Hello. Howdy there, partner. Uh, howdy. That's a pretty nice guitar you got there. Oh, this old thing? Why, thanks, friend. This here guitar is just about the only thing my daddy left me. Oh, well that sucks. When did your father leave? Long time ago now. I never even knew him. Ma always said he was a mysterious fella, always traveling on in secret. So, what's your story, then? My story's a long one, friend, and I can't say as it's all that interesting. Well, okay, then. It's like, I'd, I'd sit here and chat, but A, you don't, have a, you don't have a chair, and B, I have a job to do. So, uh, maybe I'll come back one day. We do pass by here fa fa fairly regularly. Well, I was about to say we pass by here fairly regularly. No, that's a lie. This is the first time, but, you know, I'll be back. Anything else you'd like to know? Uh, no, not really. Not unless you saw Benny pass by, and you know, we've been lucky so, long, so far, friend. but I can't imagine that every every person on the road has seen a guy in a checkered suit. I keep looking back and forth because I know that I didn't kill three legionaries, and it's bothering me, Letty. It's like, we don't know where they are. They could be anywhere waiting to jump me. I, I, I wish I'd shot them there and then. I had the assault carbine with the JSP ammo. Oh, hello. Hello indeed. You see that, Eddie? That's people, that is. That's a car. That's lights. That's an NCR flag. Hello! Where there's NCR people, there's merchants, and where there's merchants, I can sell some of this crap. All right then, what are we seeing today? We have what looks like a mercenary. Hello. Hello. Hello indeed, and we have a ton of NPCs that are absolutely destroying my frame rate. Holy crap! An old world flag. How about that? What are you, some kind of junk merchant? Hi, Mister. I hope you're doing fine today. Uh, first off, I guess, I, I want to see what you have for sale. Oh, I don't sell things, mister. I sell thoughts. You sell... thoughts. I can take off my medicine and do some thinking. People say it's real interesting. I don't know, because I never hear it. Some people say that it's a gift. Other people say it's the kind of thinking anyone could do if they watched more than they talked. I don't know which is true. I see a lot. I think a lot. There's a lot to hear through the 188, too. That maybe accounts for the thinking. But you don't sell, for instance, the junk behind you. That's not junk. That's other people's thoughts. People had to think to make them, and the thoughts got stuck inside. I need other people's thoughts to fill my head when I'm not thinking myself. Otherwise, it's kind of empty. You are a strange little kid, aren't you? Wh wh where are your parents? Are you here all alone? I don't have a mama or papa anymore. I see them sometimes when I take off my medicine, but they can't stay. I'm pretty used to being on my- What exactly is your medicine? Is it, is it that little thing on your head there? This thing on my head is headache medicine. It works real good, except I can't think when it's on. Really think, I mean. Okay. And if I were to buy it, how much would you want for that? Thinking hurts you too? Aw, I wish I could let you have the one on my head, but I can't. It hurts real bad when I don't wear it. Okay. Well, that's... interesting. Color me curious, at the very least. So yeah, give me your thoughts, will ya? Great. What do you want me to think about? I can think about you, here, or everywhere. 
What do you want? Well, you've never seen me before in my life, so if you have thoughts, some kind of preview, tell me about me. Okay. Let me take off my medicine. Your face does the thinking. Two to the skull, yet one gets up. Odds are against you, but they're just numbers after the two to one. You're playing the hand you've been dealt, but you don't let it rest. You shuffle and stack, and a gamble. A gamble that may pay off, but how? Forecast, rapidly changing conditions. A lot of thinking, most of it in your face. It's almost shouting at me. Sorry if I said anything weird. Two to the head. I, you know, I thought Doc Mitchell did a pretty good job with the plastic surgery. Didn't le didn't even leave a scar. How on earth could you know that I got shot in the head? Oh, I don't know anything, Mister. I just think it, and then I don't. Well, that's cryptic as balls. Okay, and can you do it again? Sure. I could do some more thinking. What should I do my thinking about this time? Tell me about here. I need to take off my medicine. Local, local. The here and now. Little of interest. Things to buy. False hopes and regrets watered down, washed down in dirty glasses. With regret comes a girl, smiling sad. Brown robe. Name Veronica. Half here. Wraps her and her heart up like a pack. In the pack. A key, some say. Forecast, cloudy with a chance of friendship. Ouch! Thinking small only hurts a little, but it's a sharp pain. All right. You know what? That sounds more like the kind of local rumors that I could I could just find up find at the bars. So, you know what? I'm not impressed, but I'm curious. Yeah, goodbye. That, See you curious later, is a good word. I'm an alligator. It's like. It's like, you weren't here for this, Eddie, but before I met you, I, I got shot in the head, right? Of, of course you know that. I've told you about the guy who oh. shot me in the head. He's the guy where, he's the reason we're here. Two and one, but one gets up. That's... Okay, that's, that's weird. That's super weird! That kid is super weird. Okay, then. Man, I love my guns. Me too, man. I, I prefer energy weapons, but guns are amazing. All right, hello, Alexander. Is there some reason I should be talking to you? Uh, because you're a merchant, and I'd like to see what you have for sale. Am I selling? Yeah. Am I selling to you? No. Sorry to hurt your feelings, but you're small time. Move along. Maybe so, but if you're a gun runner, then you know... I know that you have your pick of sale, right? You might be onto something. I'd like to hang on to any weapons mods I run across. Take a look. Awesome! All right, now what I'd really like is a scope for my hunting rifle, which it looks like you do not have. Bloody hell, does nobody have a hunting rifle scope? It's like, I've been all across Mojave, you know, well, all across the half of the Mojave that I've been able to reach yet, and nobody has hunting rifle parts. Like, where is it? What's going on? Well, it's not a lot, but you know, 2,000 caps is 2,000 caps. I will note you have a really nice shotgun. I really consider just getting that, but I really can't justify it to myself. It's like, 70 damage is nice, but I can do that with the Tesla rifle, and I can do that with a recharger and without having a shotgun spread. So that's, uh, it's kind of a hard sell, honestly. Thanks. So you're with the gun runners then, right? <laughs> like you have a clue what that even means. Company established by, in, in California, Supplies guns and ammo to the army, you know, that those gun runners? The gun runners have been putting rapid fire death dealing in the hands of anyone who needed to defend himself for over a century. We're the NCR's number one supplier of weapons and ammunition. You might call us an unofficial branch of the army. Yeah, it's almost like I know who you are. Because I'm from California. I'm a merchant, Jagoff. Everyone knows who the gun runners are. So what do you do then? I'm a salesman. I swing through McCarran and the dam once a week or so to take orders. But lately, I spend most of my time in this piss heap. Ever since the 15 shut down, all caravans come through here, right to me. I check the stock and direct deliveries onward to meet orders. Sure, it stinks to hang out here, but it won't be forever. 
Plus, I can afford a monthly bender on the strip and still build up my nest egg. All right, so where can I buy weapons besides from you? There's usually a gun merchant hanging around topside. I'm sure she'll take care of you. All right. I'll get, I'll get going then. Bye. After all, if there's a gun merchant up top, Man, I just I purchased a pistol guns. and some and a varmint rifle from these guys, so hopefully anything any guns they sell, I can fix up and make a profit on. Wait a minute. A girl in a brown robe with a power fist. Hello. You just caught my eye. Who are you? No offense, but you look like you've traveled a long way down some bad roads. Where'd you come from? Well, California originally, but most recently, I died. So, uh, yeah. Huh. Well, in that case, I take it back. You look pretty good, given the circumstances. Right? Well, welcome then. I'm Veronica. I live in a hole in the ground. Is that your opening line to everyone? You live in a hole in the ground. Well, a bunker, if you want to get technical. I think it sounds more interesting my way. But I'm not there much anymore. I'm usually out here picking up food and supplies for my family. Whatever they need. Okay, so you just leave them there? Yeah, I'm not worried. They can handle themselves. But somebody has to get the groceries, know what I mean? And actually these days, I think they'd rather have me out here anyway. But that's a whole other story. So listen, can I ask you something on the level? I suppose? I mean... We just met, so it seems kind of forward, but go ahead. I had a run-in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty strange bunch. Do you know anything about them? Well, I know they're enemies of the NCR. They like to hold on to tech. But generally, if you don't have any tech that they can steal, they'll leave you alone, right? Well, that shouldn't be a problem for me. I can't afford anything like that. You're wearing hey, a power fist. so where are you headed, anyway? Uh, broadly, New Vegas. Ooh, very exciting. Gonna strike it rich, huh? I'll be honest. You're the first person I've run across out here that looks like he can really handle himself. <laughs> All right, There are right. places awesome. I've never it's been working. to that'd be too dangerous for just me. What do you think? Maybe we could travel together. Help each other out. I suppose. Where are you hoping to go? Oh, nowhere in particular, really. Just hoping to see more of the world. Looking for a fresh perspective. I want to see how different groups have adapted to survive in the Mojave. See if there's something I can learn from. But that means you're not asking for a wage, then? It's like you're not saying, I'll go with you if you pay me, like, 20 caps a day? Which you wouldn't get. That's, that's, that's super high. You have soldiers who don't get that much. What do you bring to the table besides that nice seal gauntlet there? Hmm. Good. That's the look I was going for. Trust me on this one, though. You'll be glad you brought me along. If I turn out to be a burden, we can part ways at any time. No hard feelings. All right, but don't you have a job to do, a family to feed? Like I said, they can handle themselves. And I'm not the only one getting supplies for them. It's a big family. Okay, something tells me you're not telling me the whole story, but whatever, let's travel. Now you're talking. One thing you should know first, though. I ask you about the Brotherhood because I'm one of them. Whoa, 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 whoa. I know, I know, but I had to know how you react when I told you. We have made a lot of enemies. Yeah, no okay kidding. still okay me along? Okay. Okay, okay. We, we, can, we can manage this. It's like, I really would prefer, prefer not to have a Brotherhood scribe with me. Just because... Look, I, I don't know you from Adam. Or technically from Eve, I guess. I don't know whether you're going to look at my stuff and say, this is high-tech stuff, you're going to steal it off me. Uh, you did mislead me on purpose, though. Look, be honest with me from now on, alright? Sure, just don't ever ask me if your outfit makes you look fat. Hey, well, screw you. thanks for taking a chance on a naive young girl from California with stars in her eyes and a pneumatic gauntlet on her hand. Let's hit the road, huh? Yeah. I don't hey. trust her, Eddie. Hey, hey, hey yourself. Uh, I, I, I don't know how to put it, Eddie. It's like, excuse you. 
It's like, yeah, she might be useful, but she's Brotherhood. It's like, you know what the Brotherhood does, don't you, Eddie? It's like, they look at you, they, they see, oh, look, a robot. Oh, look, energy weapons. Mine. Yeah, we, we're going to keep an eye on her. A very close eye. Rather, you'll keep an eye on her, Eddie, because she's behind me, and if I'm going forward, I need you to watch her. Yes, well done. Well, I see an NCR flag flying over there. Oh, and they've got a railway station of some sort. Huh. You know, I could be wrong. I swear I've read something about the Boulder City Rail Station. One of those notes we keep finding. Just let me let me, let me double check. Hmm, nope. But you know what? We'll take a look there on our way back. Right now it's getting towards night, and we have a job to do. We have a Benny to find, some cons to punish, and a whole bunch of NCR in this area. Holy crap, that frame rate is atrocious. You've discovered Boulder City. On this spot in the year 2277, budge over, sir. On the year 2277, rangers and soldiers of the New California Republic turned back the force of a Caesar Legion during the Battle of Hoover Dam. Over 100 men and women gave their lives on Nevada soil to defend local civilians and the principles of the Republic. May this humble stone be an enduring memorial to their valor and sacrifice. And we got the names of all the people who died. <sighs> well, that's a sobering thought. I mean... Eddie, there's a reason I didn't join the army. It's because, well, both because the pay is utterly garbage, but also because of this. We it's like you have, what is that, probably like count on that. 40, 50 names, uh, 80, 100, and the best the Republican do is rock. It's like, congratulations, you gave your life, well done you. That was a stutter and a half. Well done you, you died. Here's a rock. Which way do we go? We have a building over that way. It's all torn up because the NCR showed this place to hell and back. And we got lights of some sort. Honestly, I can't imagine why the cons would want to hang around here. I mean, there's NCR crawling all over the place. It's like, this is a bad place for a con. We've got a situation with some great cons right now. The Brass of McCarran has ordered me to lock down the ruins until it's been resolved. Yeah, exactly. See? It's like, the cons hate the NCR. The NCR hate the cons. It's like, yeah, nothing good is gonna, is gonna end of this. What's going on with them? One of my patrols was on its way back from Novak when it came under fire from the Great Cons. They radioed for reinforcements, but instead of waiting for us, they chased the cons into the ruins where they were caught in a crossfire. No that deaths, was dumb. But not all the squad got out. The cons have Private Ackerman and Private Gilbert as hostages. Okay. Well, as it turns out, I'm actually looking for some for some great cons. They have something they stole from me. A platinum chip. Once the great cons have been killed or captured, you're welcome to retrieve any property they've taken from you. See, I like that, because in that case, everything they're wearing, everything they're carrying, all their ammo, all their guns, they stole those from me, too. I could try and get your people out, I suppose. As soon as you free them, the rest of my squad will move in and provide covering fire. Okay. Or, and hear me out, I could try negotiating with them, because that's probably going to get me shot a lot less. Normally I'd turn you down since I have no idea who you are, but considering that the hostages are as good as dead when we attack... Alright. I'm going to give you a chance to talk to the Great Cons. Their leader is a man named Jessup. If we hear shooting, we'll be coming in, but it'll probably be too late for you. All right, but don't worry. I, I've got the good armor. I can handle myself in a fight. All right, we're going in there. We want to look impressive. Get out the good armor. Oh, um, yeah, don't mind me. It's, um, I'm, uh, undercover. Yeah, that's, that's, that, that is what I am. I'm undercover. What kind of bullcrap lie is that? You'd have to be a complete moron to... You'd have to be a moron to believe that. So he swallowed a hook, line, a sinker, of course. Alright! I'm coming across! 
I don't want any gunshots, I just want to talk to Jessup. Look, no guns, not even a binocular, I come in flipping peace. What the hell? You're that courier Benny wasted back in Good Springs. You're supposed to be dead. I have no idea how on earth you can know that, considering wearing a face mask helmet. Yeah, it's so lovely to see a familiar face. <laughs> yeah, I got better. And here I thought us great cons were tough to kill. So, what happens now? Well, right now you give me the platinum chip. Don't have it. Benny stole it right before he stabbed us in the back. He's probably back at the strip by now laughing at me. All right. So, why not just shoot your way out? I'm not afraid of a gunfight. But I'd rather get back to Red Rock without a few extra holes in me if I can help it. All right. I like that plan because I also don't want gun sh gunshots in me. So let's talk about getting things between you and the NCR peacefully, all right? What's to negotiate? The NCR backs off, we walk out of here, nobody gets hurt. I don't suppose you'd be willing to surrender? And face NCR justice? No thanks. I'd rather not spend the next ten years doing hard labor. Okay, but if you were to let the hostages go, I bet they'd uh, be a lot more lenient. Right, and they'd probably give us all medals, too. Maybe I should kill a hostage because you wasted my time with this shit. Or, if you have any other ideas, it's like, look, it's, you gotta have some kind of plan, otherwise it's just they shoot you, you shoot them, everybody dies. We'd try to bribe our way out, but seeing as how Benny didn't pay us yet, that won't happen. All right. Well, I suppose I do have money. You know, honestly, I'm not inclined to help you at all, because, let's face it, Maybe you didn't know what you were getting into. Maybe, maybe any stabbed you in the back. Doesn't matter, because you were still with the group that tried to shoot me in that that did shoot me in the head. So, let's say this: you don't have money. I have a ton of money. What I don't have is information. Let's do a trade. Yeah, on what? You tell me about Benny. And maybe I'll see about getting you out of here. He's one of the chairmen, big shots that run the Tops Casino in New Vegas. A friend from the city contacted me with info on a big job. I should have known that the caps were too good to be true, but there was still no way I could pass up the chance. All right. What do you know about what he had you grab, this platinum chip? It's just a big fancy poker chip, as far as I know. Don't know why anyone would make one out of platinum, though. Okay. And do you know why he betrayed you? He's a snake, that's why. He owed us the rest of the pay for the job, so maybe he didn't want to pay up. <laughs> makes sense. I mean, it's despicable. I hate it when, when people do that, but it makes sense. Fine. All right, I'll be right back. I need to go talk to the NCR. Eh, go on. But first, that's our level up screen. What do we want? I think we can put one point into science just to round that up to 100. And I think I'd like to put some nine points into lockpick just to get that up to 100 because, you know, I have locksmith's reader, so it's not really important. But I like, I like round numbers. I like not having to use locksmith's readers. And we have five more skill points, so what can we do with that? We could just knock barter up to 101. Yeah, there we go. Why not? That's, there we go. That's 400. That, feel, that, that feels nice. Although guns has been languishing a little bit, and so is survival. Uh, decisions. Actually, you know what? Let's knock that down to 99 and survival up to 45. That way, when wearing the Merc armor, we can craft, you know, survival 50 items. There we go. And level 20. We have some good perks coming online. Of course, one perk, boring but practical, is Pack Rat. You've learned the value of careful packing. Items with the weight of two or less weigh half as much for you, which includes food, most chems, most of the miscellaneous junk items, and here's the important bit, all of the ammo. So that's a, bo a boring but practical, very nice perk. Another thing we could, we could do, though, is what is it called? Yeah, we could do Mojave Investor. The economy of the Mojave Wasteland is in your hands. Most merchants will now have much more NCR money and Legion coins to barter with you. 
that means we can go in and actually sell all the crap we have. Or Grim Reaper Sprint. If you kill a target in VATS, you get action points back. And since I use VATS a lot, I'm actually leaning towards that. Yeah, that that's actually very useful. Question for you, Lieutenant. How are the negotiations with the Great Cons going? Not too good, but here's a thought for you. What's your price? How much would it get you how much would I have to pay you to get you to let them leave? You mean just let them go? How would I explain this to my superiors? Well, the way I see it, that's your concern. And look at it this way. Nobody dies. 500 caps would go a long way for some soldiers' families. And that's true, but 400 caps would be a lot less noticeable and less suspicious. That makes sense. And it's still more than these troopers see in a month. Well, here you go. This doesn't feel quite right, but it resolves things. It gets my troopers back in one piece. You see? Money solves every issue. Dismissed. All right, let's go tell Jessup the good news. Good news, Jessup. Money has spoken. And the money says you're free to go. I'm getting real tired of talking. Well, screw you then. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have spent the money on you. But yeah, they've been paid to look the other way. And we are out of here. Here, a souvenir for you. It's Benny's lighter. Shove it up his ass when you catch up with him. Oh, don't worry, I will. Eh, go on. Oh, screw you. Yeah, we've become accepted among the great cause. I'm tempted to just say screw it and shoot him in the face. But that does lo level up our armor as well, so what do we want to do with that? We can get fortification for more protection, or durable for making it last longer. I think speedy, though, is a good option. Yeah, there we go. Hey. Hey! Alright, go on, get out of here. That way I can steal all your crap. And the privates go free. Excellent. Hello. All the cons start leaving. Amazing. Alright, let's go get let's go get the guys. It's kinda dark, so really the smart thing to do would be to go back to Novak and grab the van. Yeah. That way we can you know, get out of here and do it in style, and at least bring the van up to the 188, so it's so it's less time spent walking. Although now that I think about it, there's still that what's it? I was going to say there's still that train station, but there's this too. Uh, you know what? Let's take care of the train station first, and then come back for this. Wait a minute. I don't know if you see that or not. I see a silhouette in that darkness there. And I've left the flashlight at home, damn it. I was afraid of that. Oh. Fancy meeting you here, friend. Damn it all to hell. Why on earth are you here? Just rolling along on my spurs. Looks like I just might make it to New Vegas after all. I didn't ask how, I asked why. Did you see... Did you see what's happening there? Of course you did. You're following me. Yep. Guess it's just down to you and Fancy Pants. I wouldn't worry about him. He looks all hat and no cattle, if you ask me. Did you see him come this way, then? Fancy Pants? No, I ain't seen hiding a hair of him since the tussle in Good Springs. I'm sure he ran back to the soft living in New Vegas, though. I don't believe you. If you hadn't seen him since Vegas, since Good Springs, you wouldn't know he's heading to Vegas. I don't like being followed. Now, now, it ain't my fault that Dorothy and the Tin Man happen to be on the same yellow striped road, is it? Yes, it absolutely is. Especially when you're when you're not on the yellow brick road, Victor. See. I could I could buy that if it weren't for the fact that that Boulder City is a detour. It's like, like Dorothy and the Tin Man being on the Elric Road. Yeah, that makes sense. Except then Dorothy took a detour five miles off into the wilderness, and the Tin Man followed him. Goodbye. Look me up when you get to New Vegas. I'll buy the first round. I'll give you the first round. 
I'll, gi I'll give you the first 30 rounds for free. <sighs> Man, now I don't even want to explore. Now I don't even want to explore the mini mart. I just want to go home. There you are. There you guys are. Well done. Well done. Freaking robot. I don't care. We're getting the van. We're bringing it back here. We can explore in the morning. 